<clears throat> hello everyone hello we're gonna do a uh i'm gonna put on a timer so we can give folks a chance to get in <clears throat> Un momento. Yeah, let me go. I think there's music and all kinds of stuff I can put on this thing. Yeah, let's show that. Let's get the music going. I don't know why the music is not playing. Oh, I, gotta, I guess I got to select it. <laughs> of course, that's going to slow me up. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to give it a few more minutes to get everybody... <clears throat> chance to, to, to tune in. I uh, hope everyone had a good day today. Everyone had a good weekend. Trying to play some of this music here. Right, that's like we're at Orient right now. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Here we go. Oh, jazzy. Skip a little bit with my signal. All right, so we're gonna um, give it a little while. What's up, E? <clears throat> Hope you had a good weekend, brother. Welcome to the block. Today we're talking about. Um, today we're talking about uh, going from part time to full time. And some of y'all OGs can definitely chime in um, because we have, I've been speaking lately to a lot of guys, um, I know there's girls out there too, that have been, that work part-time. I spoke to a guy today that actually drives uh, trucks for, that works for a trucking company. And he does appliance repair part-time. I spoke to a, uh, uh, a gentleman that is a firefighter and uh, he uh, is working part time. So I figure, you know what, it's gonna be a good time to do a show on going from part time to full time. And I can share my opinion based on my uh, uh, information I've, I've gathered as a field rep for Encompass and also uh, my experience as a uh, a, a tech and business owner myself uh, in this business. So uh, I'm gonna get. I'm trying to play this music, man, but I don't think I got the. I don't think I got the bandwidth for it, man, because it is like skipping. <laughs> um. So we're we'll gonna get started. Uh, I think I got everything queued up here that I want to show. Uh. Welcome to the Power Block. I am Reggie, your Encompass rep. Uh, what is the block? The block is three YouTube channels, one powerful block of appliance industry talk. Uh, so I start off the block. Uh, my block is here. Uh, with Encompass, uh, Mona's block, Moni in the middle, Moni and Tim, uh, SSG Appliance Academy. Uh, her block is at 730. And then we got Big Block, Mike Sneed, uh, at 8 o'clock. And basically how this works, if you're new, you go into the description. There's a link tree link, and that will link you to each individual page that you go on after a show ends. Um so you got me until 7.30, and then you have uh, Mona and Tim until 8 o'clock, and then you have a full hour of the OG running anchor, Mike Sneed. Um, what, who is the block? Let's go, let's go to the who, right? So let's go to screen share 
Kung Fu. Come on now, I got this. Uh, I've upgraded my my. Uh, I've upgraded my way here, so I should. <laughs> I'm supposed to get full internet. All right, so Encompass, right? Encompass is a parts distributor. Uh, so if you want to Encompass account, uh, if if you if you are an appliance servicer, you deserve a full uh, wholesale account. Um, so you can get it. It's, we don't make you go through, jump through a lot of hoops. Um, pretty easy. Only thing it requires that you are an appliance servicer, and that's just proven by you buying multiple parts a month, right? Uh, no minimums whatsoever. Um, and our application asks a million questions because some people do have that information. But if you don't, it's okay. Uh, you it, uh, that does not stop you from getting an account. That does not that that let that, that, that out. <laughs> that does not stop you from getting wholesale pricing. Um, so uh, look at the description and you'll see a link that says hello sign and that will get you started. Um, and that's how you begin the process of lean on your rep. So you're going to be a rep. To be your rep, you got to have an account. Um, also, we have... Uh, I'm multitasking here, y'all. <laughs> also, we have uh, virtual training, right? So our virtual training uh, will keep you updated on all the different brands, um, the newer brands, newer products. Um, and in order to, uh, and so now never, let me tell you something. We don't just have anybody teaching custom, Encompass customers. You know, some, some of our competitors, they just get, you know, the only qualification is some guy that says he's been in the business for 30 years. Okay, well, how long, you know, how, how sharp is his pencil, right? Uh, you still got, yeah, okay, no, learn how to work on wig wags and stuff like that is nice. But we need to learn the new stuff, especially if you're doing warranty work, um, if you're trying to elevate your business. And so we can't just get anybody. So we got the most sought after trainer in the business he's worked for many of the uh, manufacturers uh they actually seeked him out because when he ran his business uh he had the, the, the record for the most first time completes that is the guru tim burdick which you'll see uh with with uh mona sims on her block uh so tim burdick uh does live virtual training this is the schedule um Go ahead and register. It's only $25. It lasts for two days, two days worth of training. Uh, you'll learn some very invaluable stuff. So who is the second leg of the block? SSG Appliance Academy. Um, that is Mona Sims, Mona in the middle. Uh, you go to SSG Appliance Academy to learn hands-on field systems and basic appliance training taught in Atlanta, Georgia. And don't forget to use discount code encompass to get 10 percent off um so you get that and also the man the myth the legend mike sneed appliance boot camp uh appliance boot camp does have a facebook page appliance boot camp uh mike sneed teaches uh he does hands-on um and but has really really excellent uh online content for you and not only does Mike teach you the business of appliance repair, um, also he teaches you the blueprint. Uh, the blueprint is just a strategy to help you stay in business, organize your business. Um, so, and also, you know, so y'all listen to Mike at eight to five. He's a serial entrepreneur, so he's got a lot going on for those of you that want to um, do a little extracurricular activity with your appliance repair. Dope. So, um, Chef X, what's going on? Untamed, what's going on? BK from the Rockies holding down admin duties. Appreciate you. Uh, we got um, SQ Services. What's going on? So, you've got, uh, so that's the Pines Boot Camp. And also, uh, I guess I had two blocks ago. Oh, okay. There we go. And I guess I had two blocks ago was uh, 
is Barry, man. And this guy does, uh, he's got a product that helps remove scratches from stainless steel. Um, so y'all check him out at Restoration Artex. Hold on, I got my alerts. Restoration Artex. Uh, com and put in promo code L O Y R lean on your rep to get 10% off. All right, uh, and don't forget about Skills USA. Uh, Skills USA is a nonprofit organization that helps spread the message of appliance repair through uh, high schools and technical colleges. Uh, so, uh Join, you know, check them out, skillsusa-rcat.com uh, to learn how you can help spread the word and let, let the youngsters know about this business um, and adults, right? So let's get into the content. Let's get into the content. I don't got no water. So right, let me explain where I'm at, right? I don't got my background because I just got in here just in time to start the show. Um, uh george what's going on man glad you got the hookup uh oh so you got the stainless steel all right awesome from barry let us know how it's going give us a review man give us a review uh he's a real deal he's been doing it for a long time he's in with all the manufacturers so with george got a uh got got a barry's kit the stainless the stainless steel scratch remover so that, that's good to have man just for you know, your tech screw up or just as an upsell, man. I'm a big fan of upsell. I talk about upselling on my last my last block. Uh what's going on, Quentin? Hey Quentin, they got us they got us last week on the family feud, man. I'm only did family feud appliance in appliance repair family feud, man. <laughs> I tried my best. Um so anyway, uh let's get into the content. Let's get into the content. Let me try to Oh, so I'm explaining where I'm at. So today I'm in Savannah, Georgia. So I'm, I'll be in Savannah all week. Going to hit uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina uh, for a day. And then also hit some of South Georgia. And maybe like next week I might hit South Carolina. Um, so we're going to some of the details uh, in the next week or two. Going to hide you, George. Going to see you, brother. Um, so, I, so that's where I'm at. I'm at. This is my hotel room. So I didn't get a chance to set up my background. Uh, but yeah, so any of y'all in in, uh, in Savannah, holla at your boy, L O Y R, lean on your rep. We'll do something. Uh, so, um, today I want to talk about going from part time to full time. All right. So let me let's let's go off the screen share for a second. We'll come back to it what this is um so I, I've, I've been speaking to a, a lot of people lean on me about uh you know if they started up an account and uh they're part-time and they want to go full-time they're not sure what steps to take uh so i'm gonna give my advice it's advice remember advice 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 <laughs> so ultimately it's gonna it's going to land on your situation so um take the advice take the information and make sure you cater it to your situation right what you're comfortable with uh your status your uh, definitely your ability as a technician um because uh you know we all have different levels so i want to talk about how to go from part-time to full-time if right now you're working another a part-time job or um or you just uh, not getting a lot of business, you know, or you do it, you know, here and there, or you're in school, whatever, um, put in the comments, whatever you're doing, if you're part-time, put in the comments. So, uh, oh, what's up, King Kate? Man, holla at me, man, if you're still here. You can have a drink tonight. You know you know, you know, know my, my info, my digits right there in the, in the description. Hit me up, King Kate. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm in 30 different shops a week. And so I've seen different uh, setups as far as the appliance repair industry, um, repairs, resale, whatever, right? So if so I'm going to go from the point of view, if I had to do it all over again, right? 
if Encompass said, you know what, Reggie, uh, you know, we, we don't like your goatee, you're fired. <laughs> Get out of here, right? And I had to start all over again from scratch. And okay, let's start, let's say let's say my my bank account got froze. I had no money whatsoever. What? How would I start from scratch, right now? So if you're part time, this is obviously not what you're doing. Um, but uh, so number one, if you're part time, keep your job, right? Keep if that's what's paying your bills, hang on to it. Um, but you're gonna have to put in some work, right? So uh, Pines Professional, what's going on? Uh, so you gotta put in some work. Um, number one, the first thing I would do, my strategy would be uh, if I had to start all over again, I would sign up with warranty companies. Yep. I would sign up with warranty companies. Home warranty companies. Uh, manufacturing would be great. I think it might be a little slower to get, to get started, but uh, home, home warranty, okay, I'm sorry, you know, you know what, no, let me correct that. That'll be the second thing I'll do. <laughs> the first thing I would do is I will stand on the corner with a blow horn and tell everybody I do appliance repair. Uh, there is somebody you walking by on the street, somebody you know, somebody in the organization you're in. If you're in, uh, if you go to church, if uh, you, you, you're involved in your kid's school, your PTA, whatever, as uh, soon as people know what you do, your phone will ring. Uh, how do I know that's true? Well, here's a test. Ask someone you know uh, if their appliance broke, who would they call if they didn't know you, right? A lot of them will not know. They'll be like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe Sears, like <laughs> if they're old, that's old school, right? Sears, like does the internet go out? They, they call AT&T. <laughs> um, most don't know. So that means there's opportunity, so much opportunity in this business because there's no uh, big brand, right? Um, if you, you know, if you needed a piece of wood, you already know, oh, I'm going to Home Depot, right? You might say Home Depot before you say Lowe's. Uh, Home Depot, I'm going to go to Lowe's. Uh, so if you're a wood salesman, yeah, that'd be a tough racket, right? Because you're, you're probably not the household name. There isn't, there isn't, there, there isn't really too many household names in this business. But there's no big guys, right? Everybody's local, everybody, you know, you're the master of your area. Um, so if in your community, people say your company's name, you've done a great job. Um, but for the most part, they don't know who they would call. So why is there opportunity in that? Well, because when you go in, you get in the door, right? So you fix that washing machine. Now you're their guy or girl. You're the one they're going to call if they're if you've done a good, you've done a decent job. As long as you, you know, you, <laughs> you almost got to mess it up. So if you don't do anything to mess it up, they're calling you. You're their person for their appliances. Um, and much more, I'm sure. Excuse me, they're going to call you for the garage door, all kind of stuff. Do you do garage door work? They're going to treat you like a handyman. Um, so, that is called job security. That dryer is going to go bad, the washer is going to go bad, the refrigerator is going to go bad, the microwave is going to break, the dishwasher is going to break, the garbage disposal is going to break. Uh, I mean, if you do HVAC, the AC is going to go bad. Um, whatever you can think of, you know, if you do other stuff, you do toasters or small appliances, uh, if you repair uh, televisions, whatever. Right, some some people still are getting their television. People still have emotional attachments to the TV, so they're still getting them fixed. Um, that's job security. So uh, your first line of defense is put an ad out on Facebook Marketplace, uh, some of these little garage sale apps like OfferUp, LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn, uh, OfferUp, uh, Five Mile. Uh, Craigslist is still, if you're in a small town, I think there are people still using Craigslist. Um, anybody, you have any ideas, put them in, put them in the description. Uh, so get the word out. So start with COD work. Um, so if you're part-time, you might have already done this, right? And so now what you do is you go to, now you get the COD work. That's going to give you a base. Uh, so that's going to be a high return on that work. 
Uh, but next you go to, I would go to warranty work. Uh, first thing you do is like, man, the first thing you do, if you don't have the connections, you're thinking like, who would I, who would I call? Who, who, how would I find out about warranty company? There's a one stop shop. Uh, instead of going to each individual warranty company, there is somewhere you can go. There is someone you can lean on who's a rep that you lean on <laughs> that can hook you up with warranty work, right? And uh, I'm going to share it here. And uh, it's Encompass. Encompass has your back. Um, so you go to this link I'm going to put in the chat. And you can go here or you can go to NSA directly. It's up to you. Um, perhaps we go through Encompass so they can see that we actually, that, you know, we're actually marketing and sending, trying to help out the warranty companies, right? Um, and it's in the description there. And these warranty companies, uh, you, you put your information in. Now, it's not guaranteed, right? It's up to them to give you a call to reach out, but uh, they will reach out. Um, and you fill this, this form out, right? Consumer Electronics and HVAC. Look at that. You fill this form out, uh, list other products that you serve. That each category, you like services for home warranty, manufacturer warranty, national service network, all the above. This, this shows what manufacturers you may be authorized. Geographic area, which is important. That's gonna determine if you get a call. I'll tell you right now, if like I live in I live in Lawrenceville, Georgia, so if I only service the city of Atlanta, it'll probably be tough to hear my phone ring <laughs> because it's a huge market, and yeah, there are plenty of people servicing Atlanta, but if you're out, let's go a couple miles out from the city. That's when there are that's where there are a lot of need. Now, I mean, if you service the city, big city, they kind of have to put that in there, right? Um, but that's going to help. It, that this this is going to help. Uh, also, if you do seal systems work, right? Um, that's going to shorten the list for them of who to look look at, right? Oh, this guy also does seal systems. Oh, this is a rural area, you know. Um, so. Yeah, I would start with warranty work. Let me tell you why. Uh, I would start with warranty work and use that to build my business. Um, I will obviously be the a lone wolf. I'll start off as a lone wolf, but I will start hiring, right? So I'll get this this set up. I'll, I'll start setting up. Um, I will start setting up. Uh, the work right through COD and warranty, right? And with warranty work, I mean, work and COD, you can throttle it, right? So if you get too busy, you can push, you can tell people, oh, I'm three weeks out. That's the sign you're too busy, and they'd be like, okay, you know, <laughs> I mean, go ahead and schedule them. Uh, cross your fingers that they, they still need the work done by then, but um, sometimes people will, okay, let me schedule this guy. So if I can call somebody that can do it before him, I'll call them. Like, that's what customers do. Uh, so definitely, 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 this is the route I would go. Um, flipping. Now, you know I'm a flipper. I flip washers and dryers. Um, but this is, I'm talking about part-time, So because flipping washers and dryers do take some resources, such as a truck and, you know, money to go buy the, you know, I mean, you, you can get stuff for free, too, but that, it takes a lot of hustle. This stuff, you can just, you can just go. The phone ring, you go, money in your pocket, right? Um, less step. So I would go with warranty work, and so I would be my own technician, build up my warranty, uh, build up my base, and then I would go to Indeed. I would go to Indeed. This is no sponsorship, by the way. I'm not. They don't know who I am. You know, so. <laughs> uh, I would go to somewhere like Indeed and post a job. Um, also, Encompass does have a web a job site too, uh, and I and I haven't kind of pulled it up yet. 
um, where you can post jobs also. Um, let's see, actually, while we're doing this, I'm talking, let me see what I can find. Um, so yes, we're, uh, so go to Indeed and I'll put an ad out and I will start building up tech, right? Um, I will go to my church and, and, uh, put the word out, you know, how I'm putting a bulletin or whatever that I'm hiring for hiring and training technicians, right? And so it's two, two ways I would go about it. I would look for, I would love to see some tech, but that comes along with its own issues too. <laughs> But I will go with the, um, I would, I would, so two things. So if I get a green piece, but I don't know what they're doing, I would actually send them to SSG, Appliance Academy, for a two week uh, basic appliance course. And I would have them ride along with me. And I would probably start them off on dryer and work up from there, right? If I let them, if I would turn them loose, I would turn them loose on dryers. Those are pretty much the, Easiest thing to even walk a tech through over the phone and to uh, to walk a tech through over the phone um, and for a green pea to work on. And so I will go. I will do that. And then if I have a, uh, a, a experienced guy, I would just turn him loose. You know, if he's doing good, I might send him to SHD for uh, build system. And so as I, and this, this, it takes time, right? And so as I build my team, I would, uh, I would have them um, take over the work I was doing. I would take over the COD work. I would take over the warranty work. Um, I would turn on the warranty. Uh, I might expand my area. I would, you know, I might sign up with another warranty company to, um, to keep the work flowing in and to keep those guys busy, right? So as I get them going, perfect. This is a perfect scenario. Obviously, there's gonna be times where maybe you know the guy I get hired isn't that good, or he ghosts you or whatever. So you gotta deal with that stuff, right? Let's not pretend that doesn't happen. And so I will go through that, and uh, um, but as you get solid people, then I would go move on and. Hire more, hire more, train more, hire more, train more. You have to like four or five texts. I mean, more would be great, but as I see it, most people I talk to usually have uh, three to five technicians right now. Uh, prior to COVID, man, it was people running 10, 20 technicians. Uh, that was the norm, but now it's, I see now like three to five, right? Um, so, I'm trying to look for uh, our job. Thing in the thing on here. All right, I can't find it. I can't. I'm, I'm having a hard time walking through and going at the same time here. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So you have. Uh, I, will, I will go through that. I will. So I would. I would hire technicians. Uh, once I get that going, I feel solid and secure with that, right? And then I will obviously fill in. I would be the master tech, filling in, filling in. Um, and then I would expand. Once I get enough technicians in, uh, once the business starts to roll, uh, I'll take a small salary, but most of it goes back into the business. And then I would, uh, depend on the area, I would expand to uh, use appliance uh store or uh in my office i would expand the front end to a showroom and i would sell used appliances uh because those will be the appliances that your green peas will practice on and, you know so i'll turn them into like little flippers inside my store uh green peas will practice on put that in the showroom uh then i'll probably go from there to new so i will get i would i would go i would join a buying group and so all this has a symbiotic relationship, and I'll tell you why. So I would join it up. I would get into a buying group. Uh, I would sell appliance parts. I would open up a store. Uh, I would put parts in. I would do, you know, so it's, it's a couple of directions you can go with that. 
uh, all through Encompass. And so how all this connect, right? So uh, you will get some sales from your service side, right? Because, you know, you will you know, obviously get a technician uh, commission if he flips a customer, a customer says they denied a repair. If I'm going to go buy one, it's, oh, well, coincidentally, we sell them too. And you say we sell new and we sell used machines. So I'll have a good mixture of like direct drives and quote unquote scratch and dents, like Samsung, you know, stuff like that, LG front loaders, stuff like that, stackables. Um, I would do that uh, and build the empire that way. Um, and then also having new, right? Having new appliances, especially joining a buying group, uh, you have access to, uh, let's say, like uh, nationwide marketing. Um, you have access to their training. You have access to their uh, network. You have access. You go to prime time. You've got access to uh, Whirlpool reps uh, being authorized at Whirlpool. So then you get manufacturer authorization, and you kind of create a circle, right? Um, a business circle. And so, so sometimes you you know if people say, uh, oh well. You know, yeah, you might make, make more on selling used machines, and you make you don't make that much on a new machine, so a new machine, but you get that relationship with the, with the supplier and the manufacturer, and that will open up so many doors for you. So this is how you go from zero part time to full time, right? You add these things, um, but it starts off small. It starts off with sweat equity. It starts off with grinding. Um, definitely. Um, Starting off small, but you being the lead person, right? You got to be able to fix your own stuff. Uh, I mean, you got to be very, very smart and have lots of capital to want to be in this business and not know how to fix anything. Because <laughs> then you're at the uh, you're at the mercy of other quote unquote professionals, right? And you don't know if they tell you the truth or not, and you know you're gonna burn through a lot of money. With learning and people over over pricing you and stuff like that. Um, uh, any questions? Leave them in the chat. I will try to answer them. Uh, any other anything I might have missed? Y'all leave in the chat. Let me know about going from part time to full time. Uh, if you got a story about going part time to full time, leave that in the chat too. Um, and uh yeah but there's so many different directions to go right um uh, this is this is the path i would choose this is the i would i would choose it through uh obviously cod work initially but through warranty work and that warranty work will lead to cod work too keep in mind especially home warranty work um so actually on to and manufacturer be honest because like so if somebody go out and buy a new washer or dryer, <clears throat> they may have an old fridge, right? They might be you know, maybe some people are just replaced. But a lot of times you'll find out a lot of people they didn't know they didn't know anyone. And they say, you know what, instead of trying to figure out who does what and you know, if you can even trust the person, they just go buy a they'll go buy a new, right? Instead of having somebody come in and repair. Um so yeah, so this is uh basically the path I would take. Uh, if you do not have a wholesale account, uh, if you don't have, if you're getting, if you buy your parts from online retailers, but I'm not gonna say this, we're online retailers, but if you go, if you buy your parts from, uh, uh, retailers that are not in the parts business, right? That, that used to be book, they used to sell books online. Let me see, <laughs> say the name. And they deliver their own stuff, <laughs> who I use for other stuff that I had to do with parts. Um, if you're buying parts off of that, you are leaving a lot of money on the table and you're taking a big gamble. Um, so if you look at the description, uh, it, it, there's a uh, hello sign uh, attachment uh, link in the description to sign up for a wholesale account through Encompass. Um, this gives you full access to me as your rep. Um, this gives you uh, the full access to the relationship Encompass has put together um, to the hard work of our executive team. Um, so, you know, we'll help you uh, with education. We help you with uh, being uh, authorized to manufacturers, amongst many things. And it gives you the ability to LOIR 
lean on your rep uh, for any help. Uh, and if you want to pick my brain on anything, uh, you let me know. Um, so yeah, y'all feel free to uh, you definitely put your experience in there if you guys have experience with going from part-time to full-time. Uh, the appliance business is such a blessing. Uh, it's recession-proof. I mean, I, I'm a kind of, you don't hear this from Mike Snead. Mike Snead to tell you, me to tell you. Uh, I mean, anybody that during COVID lockdown, our business exploded. Uh, people were, they were, they were forced to stay home, so they were breaking their appliances. And we were essential workers. You go out on the road, uh, I mean, you see appliance repair vans and trucks, ATAC everywhere. Because uh, people stay home, they start breaking stuff. Um, supply chains ran out of, you know, you, people was in desperation of deep freezers and uh, appliances. They go to the big box stores and they didn't have appliances, so they were they were leaning on having stuff repaired. Uh, so this is definitely a recession-proof business. Uh, matter of fact, when people, I mean, right now the job market is really, really good. I mean, uh, employee, if you are looking for a job, you are winning, right? You are naming your price. You are shopping. Um, so this is probably one of the best times in history where, uh, if you are W2, <laughs> you can pick your poison. Um, and so and I also say that because this is a great time to be, to work for a servicer, you know. I, I mean, uh, you know, we all push the narrative. A lot of us push the narrative of working for yourself in this business and starting your own company. But man, uh, number one, uh, it's stressful as hell to have your own business, right? Uh, especially if you're trying to scale. Um, but right now, if you want to be a technician, uh, it's a lot of good companies out there hiring. Um, if you need a referral, if you are a lone wolf technician and you or you're part time, right? It is the time to work with someone. So I know this video is about going part time to full time and the steps I, I took was, were those of being self employed. Um, but the, the path of least resistance and still have a lot of money in your pocket is to work for someone. Um, you can pretty much walk in. I mean, I'll help you out. But you can pretty much Google appliance repair in your area and walk into a shop and you'll have a job. I promise you. <laughs> Especially if you're already doing it, you're doing it part time. So they like that. Like, OK, you're already familiar. You know how to use tools, stuff like that. Uh, let's say you're not part time. Let's say you're not in the appliance business. Uh, yeah. Know how to use tools help. Right. You want to know how to use a socket wrench, a screwdriver. Uh, that doesn't mean you're handy. That doesn't mean you know how to use, you know, basic stuff. And they'll teach you from there. Uh, yeah, do ride-alongs. Um, if you can't find someone that's willing to hire you, ask to work for free, man. Ask them, hey, let me let me hold your tools. Let me run back to the truck and get the tools for you. I just want to learn this business. Uh, you will never go hungry. You will always have food on your table. Um, through service calls, through an OEM uh, I mean, doing service calls, doing COD work, um, you know, uh, shoot, flipping. Y'all know me. <laughs> That's my background. Flipping, taking a dryer off the curb, bringing it back to life, maybe putting $20, $30 of parts in it, and uh, spending an hour reconditioning it. And it goes from uh, sweat equity and spending a few dollars to now you can sell that thing for $200, $250 per machine. <laughs> I'm talking about one, that type of mar profit margin. So uh, anyway, uh, that's my show. Uh, if I miss something, y'all y'all let me know. Uh, let me, BK says, true about bigger businesses trying to hire part-time repairmen. My local part supplier offered, a offered me a job after my second time in their shop, picking up parts. <laughs> That BK, see, BK and Rocky's testimony right there. Um, but so next, how the block works is y'all go over to Moni in the middle, Mona and Tim, SSG Appliance Academy. Uh, there's a link in the link tree description um, to go over there and y'all talk to Moni. Oh, but before you go, that's one thing I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, if you don't remember, LO 
YR. Lean on your rep. I'll see y'all Thursday.